It's time to show you a sneak peek at what we've been working on at Hyper, a new app called Shift, which is meant to solve your bulk data import and export woes with BigCommerce. I'm going to take you through a quick demo of where we're at right now. So you can see we're planning on support for a wide range of entities, but let's look at products, the bread and butter, and let's do a new export. So let's first filter what products we want to, to get in our export. So we can filter by a category and say a brand. So we're getting an estimate of about 300 records for that. Then we could choose which fields do we want to have um, on our export. So let's skip images, but select custom fields for, for this one. And we can also reorder the column. So let's put the custom fields right after SKU. Okay, uh, we can transform. Uh, for, for now, that means we can change the column headings if we'd like to. But we'll, for this one, we'll carry on. And a few other options for the scheduling and, uh, and the like, but let's 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 get our export underway. Okay, so that's a relatively small export, so I can get the job done pretty quickly. Uh, let's open it up. Okay, so now we have our export, and the main kind of philosophy decision that we we've taken as part of Shift. Recognizing that import exports can get complicated really quickly when you have special uh, field um, rules, whether or not it needs to be, you know, separated by semicolons within a field for custom fields or variants and things to um, that we've tried to avoid for this to try and simplify it as much as possible. And we've gone the other way, so everything has to be a column um, in in our tool. Um, but let's get a new export going, and let's call this one custom field color. And let's do this one as red and this one as green. Okay, and we'll save that. Uh, let's call it import to help with memory. Okay, so that's that one done. Let's hop back over and do an import this time. We'll choose our file. Great, hit next. And you can see it's kind of had a quick look at what columns we have in ours. Uh, it recognizes that we've got name, SKU, price, brand, and then it's recognized that we've got um, some custom fields in there. And it's automatically detected those based on the naming convention. And what we then can do is do a validate. So before you actually kind of run the import, we'll always validate it. So if we find any issues with things that are kind of maybe missing required fields or the format is incorrect, we can let you fix that before um, we actually run the import. Uh, so in this case, we're all good. So let's continue and hit start. Okay, so now we're underway. Uh, we've got 300 records that we're going to update. And so I might skip through this a little bit more quickly for you so you don't have to wait around. But now it's running the actual up updates to BigCommerce. Okay, so now we're all done. One minute, five seconds. Uh, I can download the results. But let's go and check our products. So. The two that we updated, let's pick one of those. So small silk bench. There we go. We'll open that one up and head to custom fields. And there we go. There's our new custom field called color. Cool. So that is what is coming soon. Um, love to get your feedback, get early people on board um, to try it out. So if there's something of interest to you, give me a shout. Cheers.